I found this in a kitchen utensil box at a thrift store. It has a comfortable wooden dart-shaped handle and a wire basket that opens and latches with a ring that slides along a peg and the twisted wire stem. It's about 11.5 inches long, and the basket is 3 inches wide and 1.5 inches tall. Any idea what this oddly beautiful object is for? It's a soap shaker, patented on November 13th, 1923 by Hammond B. Douglas of Worcester, Massachusetts. You put pieces of bar soap inside, including fragments that have become too small to be used as hand soap, then swish it in a bowl or bucket with water to make soapy water rich with suds to be used for cleaning purposes or to do the dishes. This way, even small pieces of bar soap could be reused and are not wasted. It was a pretty common item in the early to mid 20th century before powdered and liquid soap became standard. I just bought a property in Texas and found this thing. The top flat part is approximately three by four feet and two feet off the ground. It appears to be manual use with no electrical parts and the only visible text says number 400 and 14 inches. The property used to be a working cattle ranch in the 40s. Any ideas are appreciated. It's a forge blower, missing the piping from the blower to the bottom of the forge bowl made in 1902 by the Champion Blower and Forge Company in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Coincidentally, the building where these were made is now a restaurant and retail space called Champion Forge. And I got coffee there this morning. Henry Kuiper, who invented the Champion Blower at 17 years old, got very rich from his invention. What are these small brass tags or chits? It was found by a friend, and now I'm really curious. I searched for the logo, numbers, and BAC, and couldn't find anything. No results from image searches either. I don't know where he found them except in Nevada, and all I could think of was cattle tags. Any ideas? They are 1940s Boeing Aircraft Company brass tool check tags, and mechanics tool tokens embossed with the BAC hallmark. They are World War II era, made of sheet brass, and are about 1.25 inches tall. They were used for inventory control, like if a mechanic would remove a tool from inventory, leaving his tag to log who had the tool. The tag would go to the tool's storage space, and it would be given back on return. It let the tool crib person know at a glance who had that tooling if someone else came looking. Predates in shop computers by decades. What is this set of metal things that looks like they can be mounted to something? The envelopes have interchangeable letters for each metal thing, and only three can fit on the object. They are old, a bit larger than my hand, and it was part of an inheritance box. Any ideas? These are license plate toppers, essentially just to provide the customer a bit of automobile personalization, while also advertising, in this case, the Sunoco Oil Company, as the tags are in the shape of their logo from 1920 to 1954. What is this tabletop ornate cast iron handbell with a stand? I found it in the attic of an old house built in the 1890s. The total size is about one foot wide by one foot tall. The bell's diameter is approximately six inches across. I have done various combinations of searches for handbell, bronze, cast iron, antique, Victorian, ornate, and monastery with no match. I really appreciate any help you can provide. It's an early 20th century Indian Buddhist three vajra and bell scepter with a stand. The vajra is a type of club with a ribbed spherical head and is the weapon of Indra, the Vedic king of the Devas and heaven. It is used symbolically by the Dharmic traditions of Hinduism, Buddhism, and Jainism, often to represent the firmness of spirit and spiritual power. What is this light blue glass disc I found in my backyard? The words lightning and patented April 88 are embossed. It's very smooth with a donut shaped indent on the front and two small bumps in the middle on the indent on the front. The inner edge is not threaded at all and would not screw onto anything. I tried searching lightning disc and variations thereof, but nothing matched. My first thought was some type of light or lens cap. I'm curious as to what this is. Any ideas? 
It's called a stopper for jars, a glass lid for a lightning jar. Patented on April 25th, 1882 by Henry W. Putman of Bennington, Vermont. A lightning jar was a type of jar made for home preserving in the first half of the 1900s. It had a glass lid attached to the jar via two pieces of wire, referred to as the iconic wire bales, which acted both as a hinge and a locking mechanism for the lid. A rubber ring was used between the lid and the jar rim to actually affect a seal on the jar. One problem with the jars is that the wire bales tended to lose their tightness. What is this pyramidal wood stack with a pierced metal ball at the top? The owners of a local antique shop were discussing this item when I walked into the shop. They said it was found in a barn in Pennsylvania. The item is one of an identical pair and is fairly heavy. My best guess in this is a horse hitch, being that it was found in a barn, but I really have no idea. Please help. It's a screw jack, jack screw, or barn jack, they are all the same. It lifts up very heavy dead loads. The holes are for turning the screw, and I can see the thread ends in the picture. This one is more rustic than most. It is possible the screw was repurposed from something else. What is this hook on the side of Boeing VC-137B or SAM-970 Air Force One at the Seattle's Museum of Flight? It's maybe a foot long, located on the lower half of the side of the plane, aft of the rear wing. I was able to take the photo from above by walking down a staircase exiting the rear of the plane. I tried a reverse image search and searched for Boeing VC-137B hook and SAM 970 Hook Museum of Flight, and a few others, but no luck. What does it do? It's a scimitar antenna invented in 1958. It is suited for use on aircraft or space vehicles. Military aircraft, typically long-range bombers in the 1960s, sometimes used VHF jamming to disrupt the voice communications of interceptor aircraft. This jamming required broadband, omnidirectional antennas, such as the scimitar. What are these flat metal pieces with punched hooks on one side? I found in the kitchen drawer with other miscellaneous kitchen items. The text says pat penned. They are of three different sizes, and I'm guessing stainless steel. I tried using Google Lens, but couldn't find the item in the results. I also Googled a variety of flat metal kitchen tools with hooks to mostly just bring up S hooks, not this item. Any idea what they are? Please let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Let's make life fun.